Hey there, friends. I want to put out a quick video before I head out the door today. You may remember a video that I put out last week or the week before regarding Illinois, a new law that went into effect in 2024 that stated that if you had an assault weapon, according to them, that you had to register that with the state to tell them who you were, what you had, where you lived, where the gun was, and all that good stuff. Well, we also reported that a very small percentage of people had actually complied. Anywhere the numbers range between 1% and 5% compliance regarding that. It's a great thing. In fact, on top of that, many of the county sheriffs stated openly and on video and on record that they were not going to enforce that and they weren't going to support that law. They felt that it was unconstitutional. We reported that the Illinois State Police proudly said that they would support that and that they would enforce that. They were not going to um, listen to or be persuaded by the county sheriffs. They were going to do their own thing and enforce the law of the land regarding Illinois, at least. Well, that wasn't good enough. Apparently, the fact that sheriffs were not going to enforce this and people were not complying led a state legislator, Senator Natalie Toro in Illinois, to try to pass a bill appropriating $10 million of funding, $10 million of Illinois taxpayer money of funding uh, to be appropriated to the state police in order to enforce this law. Now, the bill further states, and this is the part that the people of Illinois need to know about. It's it's your taxpayer dollars. This is the same thing the federal government does and the same thing a lot of these other states do. The bill states that the sum of $10 million or so much thereof as may be necessary is appropriated to fund the Illinois State Police for grants to law enforcement agency task forces for participating in programs to help reduce crime. The program they're talking about is this program. Again, I want you to see what I have highlighted right there. They say, or so much thereof as may be necessary. So they put in here that $10 million is what they're asking for, but they're saying, or whatever we need to implement this. So what this essentially is, is an open checkbook. It's a blank check to any law enforcement agencies out there who will agree to enforce this unconstitutional law that the Governor Pritzker has tried to push onto these people in the state of Illinois, who the people have said openly they're not going to comply with. The numbers show that they're not going to comply with because they know that it's unconstitutional. This would never pass the Supreme Court if it ever made it there. The problem is somebody has to be done wrong first before the Supreme Court will undo this. So somebody is going to have to be in non-compliance. Somebody is going to have to be unconstitutionally infringed upon using this $10 million or more in order for it to eventually go to the Supreme Court through the full uh, course of the court system in order for it to be struck down by the Supreme Court. It's a long, drawn-out process, unfortunately. I do think it would be struck down. However, somebody is going to be broke at the end of this. So somebody has to be made an example out of. And again... It really bothers me that they are trying to appropriate dollars and giving a number which was originally $2 million, now it's $10 million, and now they're saying whatever we're actually going to need is what we're asking for. You talk about an open-ended way to fund a project, if this bill is passed, to fund this unconstitutional project to essentially give the Illinois State Police however much money they want not however much they ask for. They can continue to ask for it because the bill clearly states, if passed, or so much thereof as may be necessary. Not my words, theirs.